So on the topic that we were talking about last week of track referencing, I personally have never learned how to do track referencing in FL Studio like I have in Ableton. I'm sure there's a way to do it with the mixer, but if you don't want to mess with the mixer or anything like that, and you want to load in a reference track, let me show you how I would personally do it. So I'm going to just load up a beat. So say I want to reference this. There's this plugin by Plugin Alliance called Metric AB. And I'm going to show you guys how it works. What you want to do is put it on your master at the end of the chain. It's made by Adapter. Adapter Metric AB is the name of it. And this is the interface. Basically, it's just a big AB button. And you can have several reference tracks in it, which is pretty dope. So, I'm going to just drag in my track with Cole Lumpkin lowest moment. So I just pulled it up with Alfred and I dragged it over here. Or you can just click here and click load audio file. And so all your references go down here and you can click each reference. And it shows you the waveform, which is dope. So as I'm playing through my track, I can easily A, B it. And what's dope is, as I'm playing the reference, I can look at the spectrograph, correlation, stereo image. It'll give me a report on the dynamics and my LUFS and everything. And I have LUFS loudness meter right here. And you can quickly AB. And you can click around. Someone asked, can I show how to do this in Ableton? It's exactly the same thing. I'll show you guys that too. Okay, so what I would do here is I will just go in and add the plugin to the end of the master chain. So after my limiter or whatever I have, just drag it in and then Bring it here. Boom. So this is like the mixed version of the track you heard that I made in FL. And I brought the stems in Ableton. I brought Metric AB and I put it after everything on the master chain. Then just hit AB. Same exact features. So that's all you do. This is it. I'm not sponsored. Just something that I discovered that I thought might be helpful. It's Plugin Alliance. Here's the thing. It's 199 normally. Right now it's on sale for 99 But I bought it in December. I have the Plugin Alliance whole bundle. But they give you a voucher to buy some plugins every year. So I bought the license in December. So I own the plugin. And I think it was like 39 bucks or maybe 49 bucks. So if you want to save money, you can wait till the end of the year to buy it. It'll be a lot cheaper. But here's the thing. Another place this plugin comes in real handy is in Pro Tools. If you don't want to do all kinds of mixer routing and avoiding the master and all that stuff, just getting this plugin is great. Plus you get all the great meters and everything. So I definitely think this plugin is worth having, especially if you're doing stuff in Pro Tools. If you're Primarily in Ableton, there are ways where you can just reference without hearing the master. I have another video on YouTube about that, and I talked about it in the last live stream. Anyways, Metric AB is a pretty good plugin, so good for track referencing.